Imagine a gun so large it dwarfs all others, a behemoth of steel and firepower, standing as a testament to human ambition and engineering, a gun that fires shells weighing tons, capable of leveling fortifications with a single blast. Each shell, a harbinger of destruction, could obliterate entire structures, leaving nothing but rubble in its wake. This was no mere weapon. It was a marvel of military engineering, a giant among giants. This was Schwerer Gustav, the largest artillery gun ever built. A true titan of warfare, unmatched in size and power. Its size was not for show. Every inch of its massive frame served a purpose, a deadly function. Gustav was a product of war, designed for a specific daunting task to crush the most formidable fortresses. It was built to break through the unbreakable, to conquer the unconquerable. Its creation was a testament to human ingenuity, but also a stark reminder of our capacity for destruction. The engineering prowess that brought it to life also highlighted the darker side of technological advancement. In the annals of warfare, Schwerer Gustav stands alone, a colossal symbol of both technological prowess and the destructive nature of conflict. It remains a powerful reminder of the lengths humanity will go to in the pursuit of power and dominance. The 1930s saw Europe spiraling towards war. Germany, under Hitler's command, sought to expand its territory. Their ambitions faced a significant obstacle, the heavily fortified Maginot Line. Traditional artillery proved inadequate against such fortifications. Germany needed a weapon of unprecedented power, something capable of obliterating even the most resilient defenses. This need birthed the ambitious Schwerer Gustav project. The stage was set for the creation of a weapon unlike any other, a weapon that would redefine the meaning of heavy artillery. The task of constructing Schwerer Gustav fell to Krupp, a German steel and armaments firm. Known for their expertise in heavy weaponry, Krupp embarked on this monumental project. Over 1,000 workers toiled for three years, their combined efforts resulting in a weapon of awe-inspiring scale. The gun's sheer size presented unprecedented engineering challenges, from forging the massive barrel to transporting the assembled weapon. The construction of Schwerer Gustav was a feat of engineering unlike any other, pushing the boundaries of industrial capacity and showcasing the ability to transform ambitious concepts into tangible reality. Section 4, Monstrous Dimensions. Numbers alone cannot fully convey the scale of Schwerer Gustav, yet they offer a glimpse into its monstrous nature. This artillery piece was not just a weapon, it was a symbol of engineering ambition and military might. Imagine a gun barrel stretching over 100 feet, longer than a blue whale. This immense length was necessary to house the massive shells it fired. This behemoth weighed over 1,300 tons, equivalent to over 200 adult elephants. Its construction required a dedicated railway system to transport and assemble it. It fired shells weighing up to 7 tons, each capable of delivering devastating explosive power. These shells could penetrate several meters of concrete, making it a formidable siege weapon. Its range, while limited compared to modern artillery, extended over 20 miles. This allowed it to strike targets from a considerable distance, adding to its strategic value. These figures, staggering as they are, only hint at the true enormity of Schwerer Gustav, a weapon that blurred the line between engineering marvel and terrifying spectacle. It stood as a testament to human ingenuity and the lengths to which nations would go during wartime. Section 5. Gustav in Battle Despite its awe-inspiring power, Schwerer Gustav's deployment was limited. Its sheer size made transportation a logistical nightmare. It required a specially designed railway track and over 2,500 personnel for assembly and operation. Its most notable action took place during the Siege of Sevastopol in 1942. There, Gustav unleashed its fury upon the heavily fortified city, demonstrating its destructive potential. However, its impact on the war's outcome remained debatable. Gustav's story serves as a reminder that technological superiority doesn't always translate to decisive military advantage. Section 6. A Giant's Fate As the tide of war turned against Germany, Schwerer Gustav, like a fading giant, met its inevitable end. This colossal piece of engineering, once a symbol of power, was now a relic of a lost cause. In 1945, facing advancing Allied forces, the Germans destroyed their creation, denying its capture. The decision was a desperate attempt to prevent the Allies from seizing this technological marvel. 
Though its operational lifespan was short, Schwer Gustav left an indelible mark on military history. Its sheer size and power were unmatched, making it a subject of fascination and fear. It stands as a testament to human engineering capabilities and a stark reminder of our capacity for destruction. The duality of its existence as both a marvel and a menace is a poignant reflection on the nature of war. While never replicated, Gustav's legacy continues to influence modern artillery design, reminding us of the boundless possibilities and inherent dangers of pushing technological boundaries. Its story is a cautionary tale of ambition and the relentless pursuit of power.